I could not wait to get this next guest on the show. Wall Street Journal best-selling author. Looking around Matt Curry's office, signs of his success are everywhere, from the walls to the car he drives. Attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. Most people think of it as a problem. Basically, they said I was going to have to work two or three times harder than anybody else to achieve any type of success. He built Curry's Auto Service into a 10-location chain. He was voted the top shop in North America by Motor Age magazine. I've succeeded in life because of my ADD, not, not in spite of it. Welcome, Matt Curry. And that's what entrepreneurism is all about, is execution. Ideas are awesome, but execution is everything. Okay? Ideas aren't worth the paper napkins they're written on unless they can be properly executed. I served my business on $103,000 on 13 credit cards. Okay. Back in a terrible industrial park in Chantilly. We grew into 10 stores. We grew to the number one auto repair shop in North America, doing about $20 million a year in sales. So I, I didn't get there all by luck. I'm not sure I had some good luck. I got there by the beginning of the beginning, knowing what I was doing, being honest, having integrity, working hard, and knowing my product. Being a successful entrepreneur for over 25 years, I understand the challenges that business owners and business leaders have in today's society. I can help you get to the next level. I can help you be more productive again in your business, increase your employee morale, and have more fun. And really, that's what it's all about. It's making more money, having more fun, and giving more back. You're here today to learn what you already know, to do what you've already done. Look the secret sauce. The silver bowl. We all do. Today I'm going to share three big ideas that I executed at Curry's Auto Service that allowed us to grow from one little store in the back of a terrible industrial park with just two employees and four parking spots to 10 locations with over 150 employees uh, that service 60,000 cars a year, which I spent for $16.5 million. To start a business, to execute an idea, you have to have a brand vision, an overarching grand vision for your company. What's going to make you better, unique, and different than everybody else? The Hybrid Shop is a network of professionally trained um, uh, automotive repair shops that are dedicated to being uh, the, the knowledge leaders in all things hybrid. What's the future of the Hybrid Shop? Uh, well, we want nothing less than worldwide dominance. Um, we're, we're, uh, nothing less? Yeah, nothing less. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, there's really no, we're really unique. There's nobody else out there that's, that's got the capabilities that, that we have. So my challenge to you guys here today is be more of who you actually are. Become self-aware. Write down what you're good at. So everybody here has a big picture vision, right? Yeah, hell yeah? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Right. You know what you want your business to look like three years from now, five years from now? Hell yeah. yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> What's it going to take to achieve those big picture results? What do you want to sacrifice? What do you want to take on? I think organizations and corporations need to learn how to embrace their originality because what makes you bizarre makes you beautiful. Take the five, top five or six things that you're already good at and keep improving on them. Make them even better, faster, and more efficient. That may include eliminating a step from the process and uh, implementing new technology. But don't work, many companies always work on their weaknesses. They, they work on the things and try to improve the things that they're not good at. Well, the reality is you're probably never gonna be good at those things. For instance, if your company's not good at social media, don't bother with it. Hire, outsource it. Hire somebody, the, the best social media company in the world, and let them do it for you. So outsourcing in areas that you're not good at I think is much more valuable than trying to get good at what you suck at, okay? Where you can get even better at what you're already good at. Because that's where the windfall is gonna come in. That's where the, you're gonna get more profits. That's where the customer experience is gonna get better. Uh, and that's what's gonna make you stand out from the crowd. 